Hey guys, check out this new aluminum trailer I just purchased. I want to walk you through it. Also guys, you can check out our new website at robtheroofer.tv to learn more about us. Instead of hitting us up in the comment section, feel free to go over to that website and hit us up with any questions you may have. All right, so this trailer is finally ready to hit the road. Check out some of the features that we did. So right here on the front, we have this hookup for the generator. The generator is gonna be plugged in about 10, 12 feet away so that we don't get fumes on the inside. I'm gonna show you what we did to the inside of this trailer. So as soon as you step in, we are now standing on those wood floors that I went shopping with, with Reagan. I got a bench, got these pillows to kind of add some color in here, added the mirror to the shiplap that we installed. Now with the nose of this trailer being rounded, we had to do something here. We were originally gonna leave this as an open shelf. I didn't like that idea, so we squared it off. My uncle did all the work in here. He fortified these corners where we had this weird shaped angle here at the front. We have our trailer hooked up here as well. All this is built and concealed so it's not visible. He put in this butcher block desktop. All that is secure, tied down. We've got some one by below holding this table in place. We've got these bar stools set up in here. Now on the other side is empty. We just have this wall right now separating so that as the AC is on, we can cool the space down. We've got this lighting in the ceiling. We did tongue and groove ceiling in here as well. Everything is painted white, and in my opinion, it's turned out really nice. Now, I wanna show you what we did on the underside of this trailer as well. Now, on the underside of this trailer, there's just particle board. Why they did particle board, I have no clue. This is all aluminum. I did that so it does not rust out. Particle board had to be sealed, so we sealed that with a Geico waterproofing system. Check this out. Now, originally when I ordered this trailer, it was supposed to be a charcoal gray to match my F-250. Unfortunately, I ended up getting this two-tone black trailer. It was supposed to be all black. It gets shipped with this chrome everywhere. We have cranes that visit us all the time, and those cranes did a number to this trailer because they could see their reflection. We've got blood all over the chrome pieces, and we've got holes being pecked in the side of this trailer. Take a look at this. Now the whole reason I went aluminum is because I want something that lasts. I love longevity, I love quality. Look what they did with this trailer. I tell them we've got problems with this and the manufacturer tells me, oh, just get some double-sided tape and fix this. Guys, this is a brand new trailer. You fix it, it's your problem. But I guess it's in our hands now, so we are gonna fix this. I, I just feel like quality is so far in the toilet these days, I'm over it. Hey guys, if you wanna see this trailer with every feature working on it, hit us up in the comments below. Please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, see ya.